this is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This could be the round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win, and I can glorify God the way I want to glorify Him. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with another edition of Quick Hits. It's going to be an interesting one today. We're going to get into uh, two guys we've been spending some time on, in a way, and Crawford, and who's got the better resume, who's got the better legacy. Uh, before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's very near and dear to our heart. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, uh, I've asked this question, and it gets a lot of passionate responses either way. Um, in a way, or Crawford, who has the better resume? Who has the better legacy? If they retired today, if they never fought again, who's done more in their career? Uh, first, Crawford's 35, Inouye's 29. So Crawford's had six more years. I know little guys like Inouye peak a little earlier. They usually get off to an earlier start. You know, you, you look at the young champs, Bam Rodriguez, for example, usually little guys. Um, well, the little guys are fighting later into their 30s now. Um, but, you know, Crawford, I, I would think it's close to the end of Inouye, um, but both guys are uh, – I would say at the tail end of their peak. Um, Crawford may be a little past his peak at this point, but still good enough to beat most guys. Possibly all the guys at 47. Um, they've got similar three-division world champs, undisputed in one division. They've skipped over a division, let's be honest, right? And, and Crawford's kind of skipped over this current division at 147. In a way, he's done that at 115. He has. And people don't like to admit this. He skipped the top six guys at 115. Estrada, Sorungasai, Chocolatito, Ioka, Nietes, Quadras. Who am I don't know? At least, at least, Crawford fought Porter at 147. You know, uh, I think 115 is the best division in the sport now. A couple of years ago, I thought 47 was. Now it's 15. Um, you know, you could say Inouye's at 18. He went from uh, 108 to 115, skipped over 112. He was a small 115 pounder. You know, let's say he grew up and he, and, and he filled out 115. He's a small 118 pounder now. Yes, he says he can go up. And maybe he can. He's a great fighter. But he's a small, you know, he's a small. He, he can make 15. He could fight those days. He could fight quad. He could fight Estrada. I'm not interested in the quadrus fight anymore. He could fight Estrada. He could fight Sorangusai. He could fight Chocolatito. He could fight Ioka. Josh Franco. Franco's going to beat Ioka. All right. He can fight those guys. But he skipped over the division. He, and he skipped over to fight. Remember in that tournament where he fought Pagano and McDonald and, 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 and you know, fine fighters, right? We're going to go over Crawford's resume, too, and they're fine fighters, but you didn't fight the best guys in your weight class, right? You were in the special weight class with tons of talent, and you didn't fight those guys. In a way, didn't fight those guys. And neither did Crawford outside of Porter, and he had a great fight with Porter, and he rallied. I thought he was behind. He was behind on my score. He rallied, and he knocked him out like a champion does. Now, the scorecards, in reality, I think he was up on one. Um, but you go over Porter's resume, man, is it lacking. Ricky Burns, good win. Raymond Beltran, Gamboa, good win. Postal, good win. And Dongo, look, we can say what we want about Dongo, unified champ. He had two belts. Dongo was a good fighter. Crawford destroyed him. Horn, and again, we can say what we want about Horn. Horn is what he is. He beat Pacquiao, though. Right, so we can't say Horn's a bum when you beat Manny Pacquiao. And Pacquiao went on to beat Keith Thurman after that, right? So it's not like Horn's a bum. Horn, you know, he is what he is. He's not a bum. Um, Con Brook and Porter, and he's got other wins, but we're we're just going over the big ones, right? 
Khan, Brooke, and Porter. These guys are kind of washed, right? But we're going to go, we're going to get in. I'm going to be fair on this, right? Because I think this is close. A lot of people are saying that this is not close. Like, oh, it's in a way by a mile. It's Crawford by a mile. No, this is actually really, really, really close. I don't want to give my opinion, but I think it's very close. Um, so, in a way, he's got two wins over Donaire. That's kind of the Sean Porter on his resume. That's the name. That's that's the, that's the big win there. Uh, Jason Maloney, Piano, McDonald. Then when we're talking about Brooke and Khan. Yes, Navarez when when, when um, Inouye Bina was the champion, but he was past his prime. And Kohei Kono was past his prime. So that's kind of complicated. Good fighters, great fighters in, in their peak, past their prime, right? Um, you know, if, if you look at the three best, just pure best names on the resume, on uh, uh, either of these resumes, it's, it's Porter, Donaire, and Navarez. Those, those are the three best names. In a way, he's got three wins over those guys, two over Donaire, one over Navarez, and, and, and Corporate just has one win over Porter on those, on those top names. Um, Des Marinas, um, he's got a couple of other names, just like Porter has a, uh, just like um, Crawford has a couple of other names, but those are the major ones, right? Um, you know, Donito Donaire, he had a great fight with, just like Crawford had a great fight with Porter. Um, in a way, went the distance with him the first time, got him out in the second fight. Um, you know, Crawford was able to get rid of Porter in, in, in their first fight. Um, Crawford's just, uh, in a way, is 24 0, and uh, Crawford's 39 0. He's got 15 more wins. Um, he's right, he's already got it there, but you know, we, we, we talked about the Paul Butler fight. Um, Dai Pien, he's got a win over, uh, like I said, Des Marinas, Maloney. Uh, oh, Manny Rodriguez is another good name. He's got a win over. He's got a good win over Manny Rodriguez. That was one of the names I forgot. Um, Piano, Mc, Jamie McDonald. And it really starts to fall off. And, and Kono and Navarez. Um, both got, you know, um, Three, you know, three division world champions. Both have exceptional knockout ratios. Seventy-seven percent knockout ratio for Crawford, and uh, really impressive from the monster. The monster has an eighty-seven. Uh, so, so this is tough. Like, I, I think this is cr- close. I said, if you said to me, what's the best win either guy has, I, I would say it's Sean Porter. Um, now I think Manny Rodriguez is close. You know, um. Manny Rodriguez is a good fighter. He beat Gary Russell, uh, Gary Antoine Russell. I'm leaning. I think it's close, and I, I, I think Porter. I mean Crawford can get there, but right now, if I had to pick one, gun to my head, who's got the better resume? I'd say just by a hair, it, it's in a way. Um, you know, I, I think the I, I don't like to give style points, but I think the way in a way disposes of people runs through him, destroys him in a couple of rounds. You know, you, you go back to that World Boxing Championship tournament and and, and the way he dis, disposed of everyone getting to Donaire, you know, Piano uh, and, and Manny Rodriguez, just getting rid of him. And before he got rid of Jamie McDonald in a round, you know, he, a round, uh, Piano in a round, Manny Rodriguez in two rounds. And then he got Donaire and, and that went 12 and that was a brawl. Um, and then Maloney stood tough, but basically lost every round and gets stopped in the seventh. Des Marinas got destroyed again. Uh, Diapen um, got destroyed again, but lasted. He, he went rounds. Um, then he got Donaire again. Um, and then Paul Butler. Okay, we, we, we did a show on Paul Butler. If you want my opinion on Paul Butler, you can go back and watch that show, that episode. It, this is really close, um, but I'm going to – you know, I think the Manny Rodriguez win – uh, with the two Donair wins, kind of edges them out, right? Like, there's just not enough good wins. It's Gamboa. Um, 
there's Burns. It's close. It's really close. But I, I'm going to say just by, I mean, just by a hair, it, it's in a way. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Who do you think's got a, a better resume and, and, and why? Why do you think it's better? You know, I, I don't like to give style points. You, you beat who you beat, right? And, and typically these guys win by stoppage, but Donaire does destroy, demolish guys. I mean, in a way, in a way, demolishes guys. I mean, destroys them. Uh, but Crawford stops him, beats him up, stops him. So I'm not taking that away from him. I think Crawford's a great fighter, but I, I got to go in a way just by a little bit. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, give me your criteria, why you think that. Um, let me know what y'all think. Um, it is December, what is it? December 19th, a week till Christmas, less than a week till Christmas. Um, please subscribe to uh, follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube on uh, December 20th, uh, 2019. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.